Aries, hi. So this is going to be a reading for February 26th through March 3rd. And I'll uh, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see. Aries. <clears throat> All right. The uh, overall energy for the reading, the King of Cups. So we're talking about a lot of love today. Now, whether that's on your side, and in the sense of your heart is fully open towards something, or somebody else's, or even the both of you, I don't know yet. But it's a pretty good energy right there. In the recent past, the Page of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Six of Wands. So there was love there too. It felt really, really nice. Maybe this is the beginning of it, because it feels like one of those, you know, kind of startup kind of things to something, and it looks good, and it feels good, and it has all of the good elements to it. But it does look a lot like it's a beginning stage of something, you know? Okay, in the current situation, the Seven of Cups, the Six of Swords, the Four of Pentacles. Um, <clears throat> you're very stubborn to try out different things. I'm not sure what we're talking about here, but you're quite like, okay, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Like we're, I see directions splitting up for you, and you're very, very adamant to go try those out whatever the hell that means um you might have to leave some things behind as you do that uh in terms of giving up on some things i don't know but okay in the immediate future the three of pentacles the two of pentacles the eight of cups you're showing me a partnership here and you're kind of showing me that you don't know you don't know what to do about it um you're looking a little bit emotionally disconnected from it but it's still kind of up in the air regardless of where you're at emotionally or not but uh let's clarify let me do the king of cups <clears throat> the hermit the ace of wands the wheel of fortune there's a lot of introspection here that's shown up for you i feel like you're kind of embarking into like something, at least one new direction. You're giving me an option there of, well, an insight of a few, but this looks a little unpredictable too, in the sense of, oh, I didn't expect for this to happen, you know, kind of a thing when it comes through, where you're going in this direction and it feels good and it makes sense to you and you're like, oh, okay. You know, almost like it's coming out of nowhere, like you didn't expect that direction to pop in for you does look like a change of direction but a good one okay let me do the page of wands in the recent past the strength card the seven of pentacles the two of swords okay i mean what was this I'm not sure if we're talking about a person here. I'm not 100%. I don't believe we are in that department over there. It could be more of a project, a job situation, something that felt right, something that felt good to you. But from the get-go, it carried a little bit of doubt, a little bit of questioning. You know, it was, it was in the background there, but it was there. Um, so I'm not sure. It, could be a person. I don't think so, but um, let's do the Ace of Cups. Now that talks more about a person. Okay. For the Ace of Cups, you get the Queen of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Page of Pentacles. So you got the King of Cups there. Yeah, this is a solid coming together of two energies that are on the same frequency. So it's something that looks really, really nice, whether it's a person or a situation you're dealing with that doesn't really matter. The energy that comes through from both sides is freaking amazing. It looks like a perfect match there. And it, it teaches you a lot of things 
as you go. Okay. Let's do the six of wands. And then comes the practicality aspect on it. So I'm not sure. I'm still not 100% if we're talking about a person in terms of love, romantic, because it could be a person in terms of a partnership for work or a project, but I'm not convinced here that I'm looking at a person's energy. But anyways, for the Seven of Wands, the Page of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, you're growing a lot through this. I'm leaning a lot. 80% of me says that this is somewhat of a situation more than a person like a project you're you're kind of embarking in or working with or something you're building up for yourself there because it looks like it matches you from many angles many aspects and then you grow the more you deal with this the more you grow as a person you as an individual and it looks really really good and it makes you feel good you know that you're getting a lot from the situation. All right, let me do the seven of cups. In the current situation, the nine, <laughs> the nine of wands, the seven of wands, the six of wands. There is a change of direction that's coming through here for you. There is a sudden, hey, what if we do this instead of, you know, doing the same thing here. And I see you resisting with every inch of your body initially. Because it's like, well, I don't know for things to change. I'm feeling good where I'm at, you know? Um, initially, there's that resistance. I see you pulling back from that slowly but surely. But, yeah, there's definitely a sense of change at play. Let me do the Six of Swords. You get the Seven of Swords, the Justice card, the Page of Cups. I don't know why, to, to you at least, it feels like if you were to take on this change, um, to, to kind of go with it, you would have to leave behind whatever you built there. Um, I'm not seeing it necessarily like that. I'm seeing it as whatever happened there helped you get here so that you can evolve, evolve in a different direction possibly. So it's, it's not abandoning that, it's taking it with you, it's part of your experience, it's helping you grow within this experience and sometimes things change directions change and that's okay you know um because i see you mellowing down from that resistance and just being like you know what okay but taking whatever you built up until this point as maybe abandoning it which again i would offer you another angle to look at this from which is that of Maybe it's not abandoning. Maybe it's growth that helped you get here. And then, you know, maybe it's that piece to the puzzle. And the puzzle got you to this point. So now you got to um, start looking for the next pieces. So, I don't know. To me, it feels like a continuation more than a disruption or a, an abandoning of something. Um, for the Four of Pentacles, you get the Two of Cups, the Death card, the Eight of Wands. Yeah, no, it kind of comes through like, and maybe that is the case in the physical where things have to be cut off in order for you to proceed in the new direction. You know what I mean? But again, still not seeing it me personally as um, an abandoning kind of issue or uh, taking it as that didn't help much with anything up until this point or to because it feels like a radical change of direction and it feels like whatever you're engaged in now has nothing to do with whatever you're engaging with next so you could take it as oh so i did all of that for nothing it doesn't help me in the new direction but i, don't, I still don't see it like that <clears throat> it's coming in pretty sharp as that you know like you're cutting it like, okay, that needs to be cut, and poof, change of direction. <clears throat> Let's do the three of pentacles in the uh, immediate future. The five of swords, the judgment card, the devil. Ooh. Um. <clears throat> Let's do the two of pentacles. The Hangman, the Ten of Cups, the Sun, and let me do the Eight of Cups. 
with three of pentacles, the ten of wands, the six of pentacles. You're dealing with a partnership here that seems to be a little bit off balance, a little bit possibly even unhealthy. Not great from what I'm seeing um, at this point in time. I don't know what kind of a partnership. We could be talking about friendship. We could be talking about romantic. I see you in this little bit of a puzzle here being like, I don't know what to do about it. Whereas I'm seeing the options quite clear here. You're looking at this partnership, it looks it. You're looking at the alternative of this partnership, it looks pretty darn good. So you're kind of like, eh, 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 I don't know. How would you not know? If I were to hold two apples here, one is rotten, one is freaking shining, which one would you choose? Like, from a logical, instinctual kind of, you know. Um, so it's pretty obvious from the outside, and it's pretty obvious from the inside of you if you go and look deep within yourself. Because um, you're looking like you're pretty much emotionally disconnected from this, but still pushing for this to work. Work what if you're not even there anymore? What is there to work here? So it feels like it's a hard partnership to deal with as it shows up here. I'm not saying that things aren't going to change because who knows, maybe they will. But for what it, you're presenting to me here, it doesn't look great. And you know that. You're feeling that. You're showing it to me. You know, it's not something new that I'm telling you. The whole pickle thing, the whole, you know, rotten apple, shiny apple thing, that's pretty obvious to you as well, too. You kind of look like you don't know. Oh, I don't know. You know, well, what's the obvious choice there? So, I don't know where this partnership is going. I don't know what it's about. Uh, I kind of feel like it surrounds something that is part of the energy that you're considering moving away from. But I'm not sure that you're doing it yet, so I'm not sure. I feel like this needs to be settled at some point. It's not time for that settlement yet within this but at some point, it's time has to come where you're going to have to choose between the rotten apple and the shiny apple. You know what I mean? And this might have the opportunity at some point to turn into a shiny one. Who the hell knows? I don't know. Things can change. You know, but if they don't, what are you going to do? You know? So let's see what the universe has. Strength card, the Nine of Wands, the Empress. There's a little bit of a... Mm, I'm kind of getting this as holding a grudge, you know? Um, and it's, it's someone, from what I'm seeing, it's someone that's really important to you. So I don't know what the hell they did or what happened, but the grudge part comes from you. You're the one that decides, to, you know? So um, that's not on them, that's on you. So for some reason, you kind of are in this place of, I don't know what you're thinking about them, but it's not benefiting you. It's not helping you in any kind of way. It's actually restricting you. Because um, whoever this is, I feel like wherever you go, whatever you do, they're coming with you energetically anyway. You know, physically, okay, whatever. But that's an energy that you carry that's just kind of standing in your own way as you transition towards something brand new, apparently, you know? So things are, for the most part, good. You got things that you're hanging on still, uh, energies that you're hanging on that are kind of in the way. And then there's these partnerships that need to be cleared out in terms of what you're going to do about them, you know, um, that are coming through for you. So overall, pretty good, though. That's what I have for you. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time.